Gurren High School. It's famous for its rebellious students. Many of them are gang members. My name is Haruhiro Inukai, and I'm 27. I started working as a Japanese history teacher this spring. And so, I want you all to keep modern history at the top of your studying list. Is anybody listening? Yo! Can I ask a question? Of course, what is it? What's the name of the first president of Japan? Uh, there has never been a president in Japan. We have prime ministers, that's what you mean. The class I teach is to prepare the seniors for their university entrance exams. They are all motivated learners, even if they are considered delinquents. That's why I want to help them in any way I can. Excuse me, how many prime ministers came before B. Sakusato? Ah, so close. B. Sakusato is a famous actor in Japan. He was never a prime minister. So far, it's been quite a challenge. What the hell, man? Huh? You want to fight? Dude, why are you drinking coffee? We're in class, you dumbass. Shut it, Blondie. I'm thirsty, okay? Look at Inukai. Don't you feel sorry for him? He's an introvert losing against life. But he's still doing his best. Why are you defending that nerd? He doesn't deserve it. This is Kaho Sakurada. She's a kind person. Don't judge her by her language. I heard she's the leader of some gang. I forgot the name of it. You're pissing me off. You better brace yourself, Kaho. Bring it on. You think you can beat me, huh? Let me stop you there, both of you. We're still in class. Seriously? How did he stop me so easily? I can't believe he grabbed our arms in the middle of a punch. Gosh, Inukai, he's good. None of my students have the typical good student characteristics. However, it's my goal to teach them that studying can actually be fun. That's why I continue to stand in front of them. Yo, Inukai, is it true that Japan used to be one huge line? Sakurada, hold on. You need to elaborate to make the purpose of your question clear. You're so smart. I didn't realize that. Now I know you definitely graduated from university. Um, okay. Anyways, I'm glad to see you're interested in what we're learning, Sakurada. After that, Kaho started to focus during class. It had never happened, so I was a bit shocked. Yes! I can buy the Sobento at half price. Yo! Haruhiro-sensei! Dude! Are you going to buy that? Hey, Sakurada! What the heck are you wearing? I'm on my way to a meeting. It's my gang's special trench coat. I look great, don't I? Yeah, it's been a while since I last saw one. I didn't know they still existed. That's not what's important right now, sensei. The Obento? I'm buying it. it. Looks good. Fried chicken and hamburg steak with yakiniku and pizza. Haruhiro, sensei. Do you always eat such unhealthy foods? Like, every day? What? No, none of this is unhealthy. They wouldn't sell it in a shop if it were. Seriously? What a disappointment! You're strong enough to stop me in the middle of a punch! I can't believe you're made of such crap! Please take that back! I mean, look at this! It's full of the best dishes! Hey, Yamane! I don't think I can make it tonight. Yeah, it's an emergency. Okay, bye! Oh no, is something wrong? I will save you, Sensei! I can't let you keep eating like this! I'm going in! Huh? <laughs> sensei! What the hell is this? What do you mean? It's just trash. Uh, yeah, duh. I'm asking why you keep your trash bags lined up in your hallway. Huh? Because it's efficient that way. I won't have to scram around if I keep all my trash here. This sucks. I can't believe my first love is living like a homeless man. Hey, wait a second. Sakurada, I'm a single guy who lives alone. Plus, I'm your teacher. There's no way I can let one of my female students inside my place. No way, Sensei. How am I supposed to leave after seeing all of this? Your place is a mess. I don't understand why you're insulting my place like that. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I can't let you live like this. What the heck? How can such a filthy guy tickle my maternal instincts? Filthy guy? You must be crazy. Now, leave and go home. <laughs> Sensei, your stomach is telling me otherwise. By the way, I always get perfect scores in home ec class. So, Sensei, you'll have nothing to eat if you send me away now. Fine. But you better leave after you're done cooking. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm starving. I need the food. Eh? What? What the heck? A girl shouldn't be cooking half naked. Huh? Is this yours? 
I know it's too big, but deal with it. <sighs> I've always dreamed of this situation. <sighs> he pushes all the right buttons. It's ready. Sensei, this is your first time eating a meal made by a girl, isn't it? Huh? Did you say something? Seriously? Don't people in Japan usually say itadakimasu before eating? He already has food in his mouth. This is so good, Sakurada. Well done. You really are a great cook. S stop! Don't shower me with compliments. It's too overwhelming. I, I can't help it. I feel like I'm floating with joy. Gosh, everything is amazing. I wish I could eat your food every day. I don't know what I said to make her feel that way, but Kaho looked excited and motivated. Hey, Sensei, you finished eating. Why are you making me study? Well, I figured my mistake of letting you inside the house will be made up for if I teach you something while you're here. I'll just say you made dinner for me to thank me for giving you a one-on-one -on -one lesson. That way, there'll be no problems. You shouldn't have admitted to that. Whatever. <laughs> I don't mind having a one-on-one -on -one lesson with you. I actually like it. Hey, you made a mistake. Oh, by the way, you only got 2 out of 50 points in your English tests. You won't be going home until you perfect everything. Don't worry, I'll drive you home. Hmm? I didn't know you were such a dominant person. A month later. This is weird. Kaho isn't here. She always texts me to let me know whenever she's too busy to drop by. Uh, hello? Kanukai sensei please help us! Hey, Yamane, what's wrong? Let me tell you straight up, I have no money to give you. Uh, I wouldn't ask you for money. I would ask my parents. Oh, she's in big trouble. Okay, I'll be right there. I arrived and saw several gang members engaging in a huge fight. You think you can get away with making my friend cry, you gorilla? Shut up. And my name is Hori. I said you are a gorilla because you look like one. Dude, you owe her an apology. In your dreams, she shouldn't have been in our territory to start with. You little weakling. You better not think you can beat me. I'm 21 years old. I'm an adult. Unlike you children. Excuse me. Your age is nothing to boast about. A proper adult would never be immature enough to get into a fight with a high school student. <coughs> what? Who the hell are you? Hey, stay out of this, Sensei. He's too strong for you to go up against. I can't. Not when he's messing with you. You're going to regret picking a fight with my student. Uh, ouch! Who the heck is this old guy? Oh! Who are you calling an old guy? How dare you? I'm still 27 years old. What? The, the jet black mad dog? What, what's wrong, Sensei? Are you hurt somewhere? Yes, I am. My heart is in severe pain right now. Shut up, all of you! I don't want to hear that name ever again. Are you seriously the jet black mad dog? Really? Didn't I just tell you to never call me by that name? It's a part of my history I never want to bring up. Ah, crap! It's him! We gotta run now! He'll erase off the face of the earth! Uh, hey, wait! I take all of it back. I shouldn't have threatened you. I forgot I was a teacher for a second. Let me reintroduce myself. Come back, Gorilla! Huh? Gosh, Sensei, I knew I liked you for a reason. Come on, I had to do something. My student was in grave danger. Wait, hey, let go, Kao-san. You can't do this in front of other people. Hey, everyone come around. We can't let anybody see what Inukai is doing. Hide them no matter what. This is a bit of an overreaction. It's not like I'm doing anything inappropriate. You guys are making me seem more suspicious by surrounding me. Uh, stop, please. So, Sensei, were you a former gang member? <sighs> I wasn't hiding it on purpose, but yeah, just a little. In high school. You have no idea how much I regret it. I should have spent my high school days studying, but I wasted it all on ridiculous things. After that, I told Kaho all about my embarrassing past. I was somehow accepted into Efron University. That was when I decided to change my life. I studied hard and acquired my teaching license. I wanted to become a teacher to guide students like me, students who have lost their purpose. So, to wrap it up, Kaho, I know you never do anything to hurt other people. However, you could get into trouble like you did today, so please be careful. You make it seem like... Hey, do I mean a lot to you? Do you care about me? Well, yes. 
I can't stand thinking about how you could have gotten hurt. You're a great cook and your housewife material. I have to say, you have all the qualities a man dreams of in a woman. My gosh, I guess it can't be helped. I can never say no to you, so I'm quitting the gang as of today. Kaho gave up her gang leader position soon after. She's currently studying hard to get into university. I'm finished, Sensei. Can you check my answers? Okay. Wow, you did great. I'm so proud of your improvements. <laughs> I'm a woman capable of many things. This wasn't hard at all. You're right. I would have been super impressed if you hadn't written becoming Haruhiro Sensei's wife as your first goal. Hey, what's the problem with that? I'm not lying. Look, I wrote possible university choices underneath my first goal. You didn't have to write that first goal on paper. You don't realize how angry the vice principal was with me. He was fuming. Poor sensei. Do you want me to comfort you? How about we get something to eat? I'm sure there's something in the fridge. Oh, come on, sensei. Don't be shy. Leave me alone. I'm an adult now. I don't need lecturing from a high school student. But you know, being an adult allows me to prepare surprises adult style. What is this, sensei? For real? Did you buy this just for me? No way! Yep, it's Christmas Eve, and we haven't done anything Christmassy yet. Wow, it looks so expensive! Sensei, you're the best! So, uh, Kaho, you told me something last month, and I would like to give you a reply now. Last month, Kaho confessed her feelings to me, but I didn't give her a clear answer. Nah, don't bother. I know what you're going to say. Oh, Kaho, you are one of my precious students. Blah, 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 right? What? You've got it all wrong. That's not what I was planning to say. I was going to ask you if you wanted to marry me. If you still have feelings for me when you graduate from university. What? For real? Yes, for real. Oh. Hmm. For the first time in my life, I asked a girl out. It didn't go as planned. Now I'm embarrassed. More than I am of my past. Sensei, that's why you weren't popular with the girls. Hey, you don't have to insult me. Just dump me like a regular person. What? I'm not dumping you. That was just me stating a simple fact since you're such a complicated guy. Hey, why would you think I would ever dump you? Uh, my bad. I guess I'm more complicated than I thought. I'm not following. <laughs> I'm gonna go to university to get a license to become a nursery teacher. We can make tons of children after I graduate. We'll have a big family. High school girls these days, they're much more powerful than they used to be. Idiot! Do you know how embarrassing it is to say that? But you are a legend. The mad dog, remember? Then that means your wife has to be the best as well. Isn't that right? I'm still not following. You should be. Hey. All I know is that you're the best for me. That's all I care about. Six years later, I married Kaho, and we became a family. She became a beautiful, kind-hearted woman. You never know what life throws at you. I guess I was one of the lucky ones. My name is Toma Asano, 26 years old, a guy that is about to propose. Here, will you take it? Whoa, thanks. What is this? I designed and made it. Will you marry me? What? You're kidding, right? No way. I see. No way. Where's the jewel? You're proposing, right? Where's the jewel? Uh, no. I didn't have money to put a jewel on it. That's what's wrong with you. You get paid less than I do. I'm sorry, but I'll do my best from now on. You've always worked hard, haven't you? And that's all you can do? I'm actually having an affair. He's a lot older than me, but he's the manager starting this year. And do you? You're just a regular employee. Goodbye. I'm a regular employee with a low salary and was dumped and cheated on. My hobby's making accessories. I think I'm gonna quit now. Master, please give me something to get drunk. Uh, sir, I think you should stop. Please, I probably can't sleep tonight. Okay. One hour later. Oh, you're awake. Good morning. <laughs> you're drunk, kid. Yeah, I drank something that could make me forget about everything. Really, what is that? 
that sounds fun. Master, please give me the same one. Yes. Wait, wait, Master, is this? Yes, fuzzy navel. The alcohol content is like 200%, right? What? No! This cocktail is supposed to be easy to drink, right? Yes, it's about 4%. Really? Then why am I like this? <laughs> because you're not a drinker. Yes, sir, you are an absolutely terrible drinker. I didn't know. Huh? You're Toma Asano. I thought you looked familiar, right? <sighs> Your voice is so loud. Have we met somewhere? It's me. We were in the same art club in high school. See, look. Look at my nice body. Fukata Senpai? Yeah. You looked at my breasts and remembered, didn't you? No, that was just a coincidence. Uh, master, I'd like a drink to clear my head, please. Yes, sir. Here's some water. Thank you. Whoa, it doesn't taste like alcohol. Yeah, it's not alcohol. It's water. I found myself telling Akine Senpai everything. Maybe I just wanted someone to listen to me. Hmm, I see. Because of the low monthly salary. That's hard. <sighs> it's my fault. I failed at job hunting and ended up at a corrupt company. How did you meet your girlfriend? First time I went to a blind party. Hey, Toma, you made this, right? Oh, I'm sorry for looking without permission. No, I'm the one who left it here. And yes, it's handmade. You used to make these in the art club. I remember that. I always thought it was a lovely design. You're trying to console me. Thank you. I mean it. Hey, Toma, what if I said I want the ring and you for 10 million yen? Master, another glass of water, please. On the rocks. Yes. I'm sober now. Don't make fun of me. I'm serious. Actually, I'm opening a store in six months. A clothing store. I want you to work there as a designer. I'll deposit the 10 million to start. What? It's all too sudden. Right. Then I'll wait a while. Call me when you're ready. At the time, I had no idea this was a reunion that would change my fate. Ten days later, after much thought and contemplation, I decided to get involved in Akine Senpai's startup business. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem. But more importantly, are you sure you're quitting the company? Yes. I don't mind if you have a second job, you know. Do you understand the risks of starting your own business? Yes, I know. I talked to the HR department at my company, and they said they were going under anyway, so why don't you quit? What? That's quite the company. And I don't like to do things halfway. I want to help you, Kine senpai If I'm going to do this, I want to be involved as much as I can. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I just used your name. No problem. It reminds me of the old days. Nice to meet you, Toma. Yes. By the way, Akine senpai What is it? You can tell me anything, Toma. Uh, you spilled coffee on your shorts. What? Oh, no, I've done it. The mature character I was acting is all ruined. Even children don't spill the drink they're about to drink, do they? Ugh, you're getting tough all of a sudden, Toma. I'll do my best to help you. Anyway, may I come over to your house? What? What? Wh why? Because coffee stains on white clothes isn't good. Oh, sorry, are you living with your boyfriend or something? No, I, I don't have a boyfriend for years now. I see. Well then, I'm going to pay up the bill. Oh, uh... I wanted to hire you as a designer. Did I hire an astute secretary? Whoa, that's what I'm talking about, senpai. You can clean too. You're the senior I've always admired after all. Right? I know, I'm a capable woman. <laughs> now please take off your clothes. Toma, are you surprisingly quick to put your hands on women? Don't say stupid things like that. Come on, let me get rid of this stain. It, it wasn't stupid. I'll go get changed. You're a stain removal monster, Toma. Wait, not that way. Oh, I don't mind if there's underwear hanging out to dry. My mother is always in her underwear after taking a bath. Oh, you're putting me in the same category as your mother? Uh, Kine Senpai? Uh, yes? I just remembered, Senpai. When we were in high school, you wore the same gym clothes two days in a row, didn't you? Uh, you, you have a good memory, Toma, and it's scary how you don't follow up after. I'll clean it up. One hour later. I finished cleaning and removed the stain. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll take good care of you from now on. 
What? Uh, um, Toma? You're the first boy I've ever let in this room. I see. Is something wrong with that? Great! You don't mind at all. All right, next time we'll have the meeting at my place. From that day on, we started running at breakneck speed towards starting our own business. Six months later, the clothing store Lavanda was to open in three days. The employees were Akine Senpai and two others from the sales staff, and two in the purchasing department. All women. And me. I'm anxious. Me too. All the accessories you designed are great, rest assured. Everyone's work is perfect except for mine, so please be assured of that. My accessories will be the only things that won't sell. No, all the clothes I bought will be left unsold. Let's stop. It's a new beginning. Let's be positive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Toma, you're great. I'll make a feast. I restocked the fridge yesterday. I'll serve my secret wine. I'm sorry I'm always asking you to cook for me. Don't worry about it. You can't even use the rice cooker, Akine-san. Yes, I can. You're right. I had you cook rice four times and you made porridge three times. I'm sorry, but one time. You forgot to add water, didn't you? Yes. All right, let's eat. Right, let's get ourselves together. Bon appetit. I'll have a drink once in a while, too. Uh, no. Oh. On opening day, our fears were betrayed in a good way and the store quickly took off. One month later, Toma-san, your accessories are amazing. Right, it's trending. Akine-senpai, no, it's thanks to the president's marketing. For some reason, a product I designed seemed to catch the influencer's eye and was getting tremendous reviews on social networking sites. Akine-senpai, can I stop by the supermarket on the way home to buy some miso? It's on sale today. Yeah, okay. I mean, Toma, there's a customer. I'll wait in the car. Toma, long time no see. You changed jobs. Ruka? How did you find this place? It was my ex who came to me. It's a big hit. The ring you designed. Hey, give me that ring you gave me. That's what you're after? How's your boyfriend? The older one. Oh, stop. That was a lie. Toma, you're the one for me. Oh, sorry. The supermarket's going to close soon. What? Miso is cheap today. It's 200 yen off. M miso? Who's more important, that or me? I want to make miso soup for someone special tomorrow morning. She's a terrible cook, so I'm sorry. Huh? What are you talking about? I didn't want to tell you that it's hard to get dumped because you taught me that. I care more about miso than I do about you. Thanks for going out with me for two years. <laughs> sorry, miso and my significant other are waiting for me. Oh my god, whatever. Sorry about that. Um, are you sure? She's your ex-girlfriend, right? Akine-senpai, you don't eat vegetables at all. I'll make miso soup with lots of vegetables. Every day, if possible. What? Wait, does that mean... Akine-senpai, can you head to the supermarket for now? The miso. I heard you, but aren't you a little obsessed with miso? The business was stable, and I started living with Akine-san. I'm home. Welcome back. Sorry, I'll get dinner ready right away. Oh, yeah. Um, you've been home late recently, haven't you? Uh, it's not like I'm going to hold you back or anything. I'm just... I'm just curious. Akine-san, which do you prefer? Fried green peppers or stuffed green peppers? Uh, getting ignored makes me even more curious, but... I'd like the stuffed bell peppers. Ah, delicious! I'm glad. Today we have cabbage, carrots, tomatsuna, and leeks. It's strange. When you cook for me, I can eat vegetables. It's strange how you're able to keep such a great style with your terrible diet. Hey, it's embarrassing when you look that much. When we met at the bar, you were able to be more mature. It, it can't be helped. The mainstay of the store is your accessories. At home, you cook me dinner and do the cleaning and laundry. These peppers are fresh. They were so cheap. Lucky me. Hey, you're not listening. By the way, Akine-san, remember the 10 million story? Of course I do. No matter how many times I tell you I'd transfer the money, you always say not now. So you're finally going to accept it? I don't need that anymore. What? Oh, uh, are you going to quit the store? You don't want to do it anymore? Akine-san, you bought me for $10 million, didn't you? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you not like the way I said that? So? 
I'd like to have you with that 10 million. What? Of course, that's not enough. So first of all, here. Is this? Yeah, a friend of mine who was in the handicraft club in college now owns a workshop. I've been visiting him in my spare time recently. Sorry, did I make you feel uneasy because I'm off and away? Ugh, I was so worried all the time. I'm so sorry. I'd like to have a Kine-san for 10 million and a ring. Yeah, I'll be yours. And on top of that, it comes with an option for the rest of my life. Let me be by your side forever, Akine-san. Thanks, I love you. Whether it's accessories or food, just thinking about someone when you make them takes them to a whole new level. Just thinking about the person I care about and what I'm going to make tomorrow gets me excited. Carefree Foods is a company my father started. After graduating from college, I work in the accounting department. My name is Haruhiro Takiyama, 25 years old. Haruhiro? Yeah? Our company? Oh, you mean the bank loan? I'll get the paperwork ready. I see. Sorry, we're going out of business. Ah, seriously? I mean, it's been bad ever since I was in high school, but... You know what? Since last month, I've been paying my employees' salaries to borrow money. Without telling the accounting department, of course. That's the worst! That's the usual path to bankruptcy! So, I have a favor to ask you, Haruhiro. Work at a deep sea fishery, alright. No, a guy I went to college with owns a big company. He only has a daughter. Could you uh, marry her for political reasons? And then you'll be the heir to their company. The idea is that of a feudal lord about to be destroyed in the Sengoku period. Such a thing possible in these days of 2023? But it did happen. My father wrote me a reminder. I'm now a member of Carefree Foods, and I have come to the conclusion that this is no longer the time to be carefree. One week later. Isn't it normal to at least go on a blind date or something? How can he suddenly ask me to live with them in a rented apartment for a month to make sure we're compatible? Are you serious? Yes. We apologize for any inconvenience caused to your company for being too carefree. We are very sorry. This is our main product. It's Namatake Mushrooms. They're not selling at all. Ah! <laughs> you haven't changed at all. You don't even look good in a suit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, wait, you, uh, Kaho? Yeah, it's Kaho. An angel who came down to you who's never had a girlfriend in their life. How do you like that? Aren't I even prettier than before? I think I may have the wrong room. Let me check. Uh, how come? It's not wrong. I'm your fiancé. It's real. I'm thinking about it now, Kaho's the president's daughter. Why are you disappointed? That's rude. She's Kaho Mitsura. We went to the same school from elementary school to high school, and we were good friends until middle school. But in high school, she kept tangling with me, so we didn't get along. Your vibe changed, didn't it? Huh, I bet you see me differently now. Her cockiness was annoying, despite her baby face. Her style got better, and she's as cute as an idol. Can you let me in? But first, let me tell you something. I'm living with you on the premise of marriage, which was decided by my parents. Don't act like you're my husband, okay? Oh, no, it's not like I'm rejecting you. Rather, it's a pep talk in anticipation for your future growth. It's okay to be a little bossy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, okay. Come on in. You must be hungry. There's food here. Thanks for having me, then. Yum! Wait, Kaho, are you a good cook? Mm-hmm. I trained. It's easy for me. You were afraid to use a knife in cooking class in junior high school, and you used to cry to me. <laughs> Time flies, doesn't it? How do you remember that? I'm telling you, I'm only a little bit happy. Come to think of it, you used to make lunch in high school, didn't you? You bragged about it in the student council room. <laughs> I miss those days. Your lunches were so modest. My parents' business was already starting to decline, so I was just trying to save money. Hey, wait, uh, I'm telling you, guys who cook their own lunches have high points with the girls. Oh, really? Uh, that's right. Your points went up by 20 from me. I wonder what those points are worth. Thanks for dinner. I'll do the dishes. I know this is a bit forward, but I was the top student in my grade in high school. Kaho always came in second. Kaho was vice president after being nominated for student body president. 
It's a good thing the partner in this strange political marriage is a childhood friend because we're kindred spirits. Hey, you don't have a lot of luggage, do you? I didn't know who it was going to be until I came here. See, if you bring in a lot of stuff, you might scare them off, right? Oh yeah, your attentiveness and kindness. You haven't changed at all. That's nice. Yeah, what's nice about it? It's nice to me. It's comfortable. You are? <laughs> you know, you're still the same person inside. Just like you were in high school. The bath's ready. Yeah. So what are you doing? I was converting the sofa. There's only one bed. What? You're sleeping on the couch? Of course. You're tired from work and you're giving up a good night's sleep. Are you crazy? What if you get sick? Kaho, you want me to sleep with you? What? No! I just thought it would be better for you to be healthy and stress-free every day. You're imagining things. You say it in a roundabout way, but it's all care for me. Well, I'll just take your feelings. I'm gonna take a bath. When I am. Hey, aren't you going to bed? Sorry, was it too bright? Your presence is brighter than a dim light. We don't have many employees, so even a young guy like me has a lot of work. All right, that's it for today. What? This bed is so big. It's fine if we both sleep at the edge of the bed. That's fine with me, but not for you, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm totally fine. I'm not going to let my hardworking fiancé sleep on the couch. What? You already accepted me as your fiancé? Huh? Don't get all mushy just because you passed your provisional. Are you serious? If I got my provisional on the first day... I'll take your word for it and have a good night. What? You're just going to sleep? <laughs> I know. You're gonna pretend to be asleep and suddenly cuddle up to me, aren't you? Oh, you're so shallow. Ha! <laughs> I should know what to expect. One hour later. You're actually sleeping. What's wrong with you? Next morning. Whoa! Oh, that's right. We started living together. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sleep like this when we were kids. <laughs> I miss it. Uh, I slept well. Ah! <laughs> I forgot to set my alarm! Oh no, I'm gonna be late. Kaho, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to move. Don't throw me. Sorry! Okay, I'm off. He said I'm off. It's time for newlyweds. <laughs> Ten days passed since the strange living life started. Not only have I gotten used to it, but I'm comfortable because my partner is a childhood friend. I'm home! Welcome home! You're back early. Here, a souvenir. Ah, it's a convenience store pudding. I'd like to buy you a fancy cake or something, but I'm sorry, I have no money. Huh? You wanted to get 200 points for bringing me souvenirs. You're going to take a bath, right? I've already put the water in. Oh, thanks. Uh, surprisingly, Kaho's the type who'd make a good wife. What are you talking about? Even if you flatter me like that, you'll only accumulate 20,000 Kaho points. That's a lot. I mean, I always go in first, but is that fine with you? Why? I'm being careful, but you know, hair and stuff could be floating. Are you crazy? I don't care about that. Taking a bath after my dad is torture, but after you, it's more like a treat. Be nicer to your dad. Let's eat. Oh, thanks. Uh, what? I mean, aren't those a little too skimpy even for loungewear? What are you looking at? What? I'm looking at you because you're the only one here. Huh? You stare at me all day? Every day? You perv! I don't stare at you. I just glance at you sometimes. Stare at me? Who do you think I wear this stuff for? Oh, this ginger pork is delicious. Not listening, idiot. What? Why did you just call me an idiot? Don't just pick up the mumbles, idiots. Idiots! They're second, so don't be shy. Really? I have it then. Kaho, you're on leave right now, right? Yeah? Why? What? My ideal marriage is to be a housewife, have lots of kids, and be devoted to my husband. Uh, I remember you saying that. You remember? Of course I remember. I've been working part-time since high school, and the only girl I talked to was you. Huh, you say that, but I bet you were a big hit in college. No, I was so busy working part-time, I 
don't remember doing anything other than studying. You're cute, so if you went to a blind date party or something, you must have been popular, right? I went to a woman's college. Aren't all the guys wolves in sheep's skin at blind date parties? I do words you were scary. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. Oh, no. uh, I don't mean it like that. Uh -huh. Hey, why does this guy sleep at this timing? Uh. I had a drinking party at work and got home late. I'm home. Hey, you were late. What were you thinking? Sorry. You should have called. I was worried. Just so you know, I'm glad you're home safe. I smell perfume. Really? Ah, oh, because Saito-san got drunk and hugged me, that's when. I can't believe it! You cheater! What? Hey, wait! How? There's a lock on the door! Ah, oh, Kyle, you're holding the door? Shut up, shut up, cheater! When you have someone you're engaged to! Hey, listen to me! Whoa, why are you so strong? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel bad, but yeah, you're right, it was thoughtless. <laughs> Remember her, hero? Remember what? Three times in elementary school, twice in middle school. You said, let's get married when we grow up. Wasn't it three times in junior high, too? <laughs> you actually remember. Gross. And yet, when we got to high school, you suddenly got a call, which was pretty lonely, you know? Oh, that's because I wanted to be a girl worthy of you. You could do anything, study, play sports, and you were really popular. Seriously? Didn't you realize that? Every day, a different girl brought sweets and stuff to the student council room. What? Wasn't everyone just trying to take care of me since I was poor? <laughs> I fell in love with this perfect, dull guy. So I thought I'd confess my feelings to him just once if I want something. Just say it normally. No, I made up my mind. And I didn't even win. And then before I knew it, it was graduation. Are you serious? Wait, so it, could it be? This whole political marriage thing too? Yes, I heard from my dad, and I was behind it. Are you serious? That my father's company's going under? Oh, sorry. I think that's real. Dad said it's almost bankrupt. I see. All right, that's it from me. Can I tell you two things? What? You don't want to live with me anymore or something, right? No. First of all, the person with the perfume was a 55-year-old lady. Y you like older women? No! I wanted to tell you that I didn't get hugged by a young woman! Saito saw her first grandchild last month! Uh, I see... And I've been thinking ever since elementary school that if I ever got married, it would only be to Kaito. I didn't get a chance to say something because you're always in my life. I never once looked at any other girl romantically except you. Living together reminded me of that. Ugh, I thought I'd be single forever. Oh, wait, what's wrong? Kaho grabbed me by the neck and threw me on the bed. After that, she mounted me like a horse. Seriously, isn't this girl way too strong? D -d Tell me that. But uh, you said you were going to make a decision on the marriage after a month had passed, so I thought it'd be okay then. I like you, do you? You were like that in high school. What? You've been nice to me ever since we met again, so I was relieved that you didn't hate me. Oh, wait, why? I was hiding it. I was being all hot and cold. Are you serious? You were hiding it? All you did was act all flirty. I thought you were being all calm and collected. That's what it means? You played me, didn't you? That's a terrible accusation. I'm gonna take responsibility for this. Uh, okay. If you cheat on me, I won't forgive you. Call me when you're going to be home late. No matter how old you get, tell me you love me. Okay. Why are you being so casual about it? What? I thought it was pretty normal. What? This is the real deal from here. Four kids. No, I want five. What do you think? Can you take responsibility? It's a lot of responsibility, but I'll do my best. This is just a payment in advance for the marriage certificate. You know, I love you so much more than you know. We got married without incident. Five years have passed and I work for Pika Pika Trading. 
which is run by Kaho's dad and his company merged with my father's company. I'm off! Yeah, take care. Kaho. What? I love you. Don't get me wrong. I love you more. Inseparable relationships become more flavorful as it matures and ferments. Sometimes think about that while being thankful for the relationship with my beloved wife. I was a member of the Special Forces until a few months ago. I know, you don't believe me. My name is Haruhiro Shoji. I'm 26. Communicating is not a skill I have. However, I started working at an all-girls school this spring. I never thought I'd end up at an all-girls school. I applied to a company that was looking for hunters. I ended up as a mercenary in a foreign country. It wasn't what I was hoping for. In fact, it was the complete opposite. I couldn't tell my boss I wanted to leave. I had to stay until my contract expired. Take a look at the worksheets in front of you. I don't understand anything George teaches in class. Don't be mean to George. You're going to make him cry. I teach geography. However, most of my students rarely look at a map since they have navigation applications on their phones. But before that, why are those girls sitting in class wearing trench coats made for gang members? Dude, did you know Japan has 50 prefectures? George, you need to teach us better. No, Japan has 47 prefectures. I think you're talking about how many states there are in the US. Can somebody tell me who George is? My name is Shoji. They both owe me a huge apology. Hey, that was my chocolate, not yours. Oops, it's already in my tummy. Can you guys focus? I'm teaching a class. Please? Whoa, what was that? I didn't know he could be so loud. That was scary. <sighs> the two girls are the most famous rule breakers in school, the Nishiguchi sisters. Kaho, the younger one, usually speaks first. Akine, the older one, comments later. They're twins. Hey, Akine! Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. Huh? Oh my gosh! Was not expecting this. You should be more careful. I don't want to see you getting hurt. I can't believe I touched her. Oh no. I touched a female student. Am I gonna get fired? The next day. France and Italy use similar designs for their flags. That goes the same for Germany and Belgium. He's right! Check out Italy and Hungary. Cool. This is strange. My students are all focused and attentive today. I wonder why. Excuse me, George? Do you have some connection to Georgia? No, I don't. George, let's read some of the textbooks. We've spent half of the class chattering about nothing. Uh, of course. George, do you have a girlfriend? No, I, I don't. Does that have anything to do with what we're learning? No girlfriend. Check. Wow, this is the first time he's commented. Great. Just FYI, my name is not George. It's Shoji. Huh? What? <sighs> the next day. Morning, Haruhiro Sensei. I went over everything we covered yesterday. I'm so excited for your class, Sensei. Good morning. Huh? The delinquent twins were acting friendlier than before. Hey, man. Gosh, you're eating a store bought Obento again? Haruhiro Sensei, can you not cook by yourself? They go out of their way to find me every break time. And it's not like I can't. I just don't. Look at my mini quiz for English. I got one point. <laughs> Murata Sensei, the English teacher, is glaring at me. I got a 10 out of 10. Murata Sensei's quizzes are too easy. When will he make more challenging tests? Stop it. He's going to take it out of me. Kaho is the typical athlete. Studying isn't her thing, and she isn't afraid to hide it. As for Akine, she's more of an academic type. She's not too good at physical studies. Are you listening? Hey, what did I do wrong here? Every single word on here is incorrect. Take a look at the first problem. The correct answer is kind, but you've written easy. That's the same thing. Can you tell Murata Sensei he's an idiot who doesn't know what he's doing? How can I make her stop? He can hear everything. Look at how he's staring at us. Murata always uses trick questions on his tests. His methods are dirty and unfair. Seriously, haven't you had enough? Can't you see that Murata Sensei has stopped eating? He's probably feeling crushed right now. Crap, we have PE next. Yes, we should get going. 
Shoji-sensei? I apologize for everything. I don't know what kind of magic you used, but you got the Nishiguchi sisters to start studying. You have my full respect. Huh? The teachers here have not given up on their students, no matter how challenging they may be. I'm glad to be working with such wonderful teachers. After school. Yo, Sensei! There you are, Haruhiro-sensei. What's up? Did we surprise you? Pretty girls like us don't usually talk to guys like you. Did you know we're pretty popular? Uh, make sure to go straight home. Ugh. Sensei, are you going to eat an obento today? Yes. Haruhiro Sensei! You're going to regret eating obento every day when you get older. I eat much healthier than when I used to be a mercenary. I used to grill weird fish to get food in my stomach. <laughs> Why won't they let go? I'm gonna get fired if I get caught. <laughs> Sensei, fighting isn't the only thing we're good at. We're wife material. Kaho-chan makes the best meals ever. So let's go. We can make you something healthy at your place. It's that way. I know how to get there. I'll get the shopping done on the way. Uh, hey, I don't know how to get there without Akini to show me the way. Sensei, you have to take me. I can't. I'm not allowed to as a teacher. Hello? Haruhiro Sensei? Do you realize how many people are looking at us? It's because you're so tall. Nobody can see me like this. I have no choice. What are you doing? Well, I've never been inside a man's apartment. I was thinking I could look for the naughty things you hide. That's the first thing she wants to do here? Oh no, you can't leave them hanging out here. They'll go damp with dew. It's none of your business. I leave you for 10 minutes and Kaho-chan is holding on to Sensei's underwear. Ew, no way. I was taking in the laundry. You didn't waste your chance to get your hands on Sensei's underwear. I wouldn't expect any less from you. Cut it out. It's all Sensei's fault. Gosh. That's so unfair. Haruhiro Sensei, what did you do before you came to teach at our school? I was a mercenary in a foreign country. I told you I sucked at communication. I don't know how to be vague. Seriously? I see. Now I know why you moved so fast the other day. I remember too. I thought you were Spider-Man for a second. You believe me? Huh? Were you lying? Uh, no. Everybody knows that you're always honest, Taruhiro-sensei. It's not that. I don't know how to lie. It takes me forever to come up with one. Kaho-chan, you're the best. I know. Nabi is the best food to eat together. Why did you guys decide to become such rebels? You're hilarious. Who even asks that? Sensei is serious. Don't make fun of him. <sighs> I see. Well, there's not much to explain. Our parents are super strict. We didn't like it, so we're revolting. Being at home is suffocating. Being outside is refreshing. Kaho and Akine didn't hesitate to tell me. I guess girls their age are not afraid of anything. Oh, crap. They're from that annoying gang. They were outside the supermarket earlier. I think they followed me. I'll be right back. Me too. Ordinarily, if you don't have fights in a peaceful neighborhood. Gosh, what did you count on Japan? <sighs> hey, what the hell do you think you guys are doing? Shut up, we know you live here. We're here to beat the crap out of you. That is not a proper explanation for what you're doing. Yes, Akine has a point. Turn off your bike! You're going to cause trouble for Sensei! Sensei? Uh, your mentor lives here, doesn't he? She has quite the imagination. Ugh. What do you think you're doing? Ah! The more fights, the better. L let go! Ugh. Will you please stop? You're making a scene. Uh, you... Wh where did you come from? What the... Who, who is this guy? I'm going to ask you nicely. I'm so sick of violence. <laughs> Will you go home already? <sighs> so exhausting. Whoa! Haruhiro-sensei! You are so freaking awesome! I think I am falling in love. No, I don't want to lose my job. I, I need to get inside before anybody sees us. Thank you, sensei. It's fine. You need to wear more clothes. 
This is every girl's dream come true! Kaho-chan, you didn't have to change your clothes. B back off! I couldn't let you be the only one! I should have been the only one borrowing Sensei's clothes! Um, when will you stop? I don't want either of you in danger. You could have gotten hurt today! There's so much I want to say to them. Why can't I think of words to express how I feel? Well, if you say so, I quit. I'm going to become a Gyaru instead. Then there's no point for me to continue. I quit as well. That was easier than I expected. Ow. The twins stopped the rebellion and became regular high school students. For some reason, they come over often. Hey, Akine, why are you here before me? <laughs> Kaho-chan, I am one step ahead of you. Grr, so frustrating. I'm going to get changed too. Why do they get changed into my clothes over there here? 7.30 p.m. It's ready! Oyster Nabe! Thank you. Sensei, you speak more casually now. You're warming up to us. N no, I'm not. <sighs> Hiya! I got you now! Hmm, Sensei, you could have avoided getting caught if you wanted to. You let us grab you on purpose. <laughs> let me make one thing clear. I'm capable of avoiding any attack. Hey, Sensei, do you find me attractive at all? Huh? Haruhiro Sensei, don't you have any manly desires or instincts? Of course I do. Then something is wrong. We feed you well enough to keep you healthy every day. And we're ready for anything now. So why won't you make a move on either of us? Exactly what she is saying. Haven't you realized? We've been giving you hints this whole time. We want your babies. Strong babies. But You're mean. Hey, you know how bad I'm interacting with people. I don't know how to say this, but you are still young. I want you to treat yourself better. Protect yourselves. Fine. We'll wait until we're adults. Then we'll make a move on you, Sensei. We're not giving up. But we will wait until we graduate. I'm glad they understand. So that means we have to wait for another half a year. You better be prepared for us by then. <laughs> they didn't understand a word I said. Haruhiro Sensei, wake up! Kaho is currently attending culinary school, and Akine is attending an all girls university. Didn't you notice we called, you lousy moron? Get up already! I didn't get any calls. Huh? Akine, I thought you said you called him. I thought you called him, Kahochan. None, None of, of that, that matters. matters. Haruhiro Sensei, we're both adults now, right? Now that we're adults, we can do whatever we want to. Wait. No, we're not waiting. We've been waiting for too long. We're in love with you, Haruhiro Sensei. You should give up already, okay? By the way, I love you more than she does. I love you more than anybody. I've been through all sorts of fights. However, the twins are the most difficult opponents I have ever dealt with. There's nothing I can do to avoid them. I have no choice but to give in. I've been assigned to the sales department for four years now. My name is Toma Mikami, and I'm 25 years old, and I still haven't been in a relationship yet. Ugh, what I get myself into? You just need the right opportunity, and you'll find your stride! Today is the first step! Manager, I have a stomach ache. Can I go home now? This is a luxury store! What kind of young man gets a stomach ache when someone offers to pay for it? The manager said you need to at least be able to talk to girls and brought me to a high-end cabaret club. The sale is Chris and I have a hard time even at maid cafes. Ah, oh, don't push me! What's so sad that I have to flirt with a guy in front of a store? Come on, get in! The manager orders something with ease, but I was about to pass out, so I sat down first. Oh, Akina, you came too? Welcome. Y yes Toma, you're getting Akina to serve you! She's the number one girl in the bar. Manager, you're a little loud. Keep your mouth shut for a while, please. Oh, I'm sorry! This girl is Akina. She's a little cold, but that's what makes her popular. 
I talked to her for a little bit, but she said she's only 25. She's two years younger than me, but has so much confidence. Huh, so your age and the years you've been without a girlfriend are the same. Yes, uh, the age I die and the years I've been without a girlfriend will be the same too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that bad manners? Not at all. There's no such thing as rules. Uh, is that right? This is my first time at a store like this. It's good manners to chat with the pretty ladies. Right, Agina? Manager, you're being too loud. That's bad manners. I'll kick you out. I'm sorry! Mikami-san, you have a lot of muscle, don't you? Do you work out? I don't have anything to do, so on my days off, I practice martial arts at home all the time. Oh no, I don't think I can take any longer. Um, do you remember the promise from that time? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I was staring at that chandelier. Uh, could you repeat that again? Can we exchange numbers? With me? My salary is super low, though. Okay, got your number. So quick, I couldn't even see. How is it? Are you getting used to talking to girls? Doesn't look like it. Did you lose weight? Manager, I'll take you to a nice gym next time. The place with tasty protein. I went home as my manager encouraged me vigorously for some reason. And when I got to my apartment, my phone rang. Uh, yes, who was it? Come on, we just talked. It's me. Uh, Akina-san! Akina is a pseudonym. My real name is Akina. So please, call me that. Uh, I see. Tomasan, tomorrow's a Saturday. Uh, yes, the day after tomorrow is Sunday. You're free, right? Would you like to eat out? I want to get to know you more. I realized. This is what they call going to work together. When they have your contact information, there's no way out. Y yes, I I'll go after I close my time deposit. Great, I'll text you later with the time and stuff. Good night. Cabaret clubs are scary. Oh, I'm gonna switch my way of thinking. This is my one chance I'll get to go out with such a beautiful woman. A time deposit or two? It's a learning experience. Why here? There's no place to eat. I'm sorry, did I make you wait? Uh... Why are you ignoring me? Did I make you wait that long? What? You were talking to me? What, Akina-san? Yesterday, Akina-san was beautiful, but today's Akina-san is kind of cute. She's wearing a fluttering skirt, and she looks like an idol with a baby face when she wears natural makeup. You're so mean. Oh, were you looking at me in awe? I made great memories. I'm sorry, I'll cancel my subscriptions on Monday. Why are you so stubborn about paying money? More importantly, you must be hungry. I only drank water. Ta-da! I made lunch. Time deposits won't be enough. Customer finance it is. Oh, it's good. Right. You like fried chicken, right, Thomasan? I'm glad your tastes haven't changed. Now do you know that? <laughs> you can't take my memory lightly. I'll borrow money from the manager, too. Thomasan, let's go shopping. Oh, the time has come. I have 150,000 yen in my wallet for now. What are you planning to buy? Uh, I don't know either. Hmm, this is nice too. Thomasan, you really have muscle, don't you? Um. Yes? Ah! Whoa, what's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, I almost fell in love. That's amazing, Akina-san. You're invincible even in the daytime. <laughs> what was that? But are you starting to like me? <laughs> Why are you looking away? Please forgive me! I don't make a lot of money! I bought an exercise by last month, so I really don't have any money! Is that so? Then I'll buy this jacket for you as a present. What? No, you can't do that! Ah, I'm sorry! Thomas-san, you're quite bold, aren't you? <laughs> I'll go pay the bill. It was so soft and small. How much is that one touch gonna cost? Can we go to the other store over there next? Yes, wherever! Oh, I'll hold all the bags too! But you're already holding the lunchbox. I'm about to lose all my savings and we'll just become a blob of muscle. Please let me do that much. Hmm. Then please, you're so reliable. Um, Akita song? <laughs> I'm thinking of having you choose one next. I'm just checking, but is this for me? What? You're going to wear one too? This is for me. I can't! I can't walk into a store like this! What? Look over there. There's couples. Oh, over there too. 
Loads of people living the life. If a dull guy like me tries to enter, the AT field at the entrance will burn me down. Er, you are a gentleman, Toma-san. Then, what do you like? What do you think suits me? You look good in anything. I felt your eyes on me. I mean, that's the most boring answer you could give a girl. I'm a boring guy! I see. Well, I'll have to get used to it. It's funny how your face is facing in an unbelievable direction, so I'll give it a pass. Please, wait for me. You should have taken your time choosing without worrying about me. No, I'm on a date with you. I chose quickly. The manager said that the date that cabaret girls talk about is a trap. But where should we go next? I think I've had enough shopping. Next! Huh? Thomason? Yes? He won't hold the underwear I just bought. I will not! It's fun being with you, Thomason. I could have said I have a great place to recommend and brought me to the riverbed. Well, this brings me back. You have memories here? Yes, we used to play here. I see. There was a younger kid who I was close with. Always follow me wherever I went. Huh. He moved when I was in sixth grade, though. Even now, I wish I'd asked him for his address. I see. By the way, what was your friend's name? His name was Hattori. He was small, but he had a very well-defined face. He might be a model or something by now. Thomason, Thomason! But what is it? <sighs> Don't remember after all. It's fine. Wait, I can son? Are you leaving? Y your bugs? Please stop! You're the one that ran into me! I apologized! No good! My heart has been stolen! She is indeed the number one cabaret girl. She's stealing men's hearts as soon as I take my eyes off her. At this moment, I remember something important. But first, I have to rescue akina -san. Ah! What the hell, man? Please stop, she's with me. How could a dog guy like you be with her? I could crush an apple! <laughs> I see. Go ahead then. You're gonna break your arm! God! What? I feel bad for the apple. Ah! Ah! What? Well, wait, uh, this strength looking like that? Working out doesn't betray me. I don't know what you're talking about, but you're crazy! I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I finally realized. Hattori, I mean, Hattori, you were a girl? You should have told me. You're so late to notice, idiot. She said, I'm not letting leave yet, and the next thing I know, I was in Akane san's room. All right, let's drink. Toma, who thought I was a boy for three years? No, I never said that. I mean, Toma, you were a big boy back then. You said things like I don't play with girls. Did I say that? You did! That's why I was always wearing a hat. That's right! Hattori was always hiding her face with a hat, so I couldn't really leave her alone. You're drinking way too fast. Of course I'm going to drink. You don't remember what you said to me when we were kids, do you? This isn't good. Me from back then, don't let me down! Always be by my side! We're always going to be together! You said that! You saved me from a mean boy and acted all cool! It was you! Huh, that was cool, didn't I imagine? That was pretty awesome as a kid. We promised to get married! I tried to see you just before you moved out, but you ate some stale bread and got sick in bed with a stomach ache! I remember that faintly. <laughs> I was a wild kid. I remember the promise all along. But I didn't know where you were. Why did you start living alone? What, because it's close to the work? If I barred it to your parents' house, it would be awkward after we get married, so I couldn't. So I had no choice but to be a cabinet girl and wait for you. But you never came. Why did it come to that? Because you were a perv. You always hide up the good-looking girls. I have a faint memory of that. Yet, you turned into such a herbivore. You were like a lion. Why did you turn into a fawn? Oh, I wonder why. Ah! Want to make it a done deal? I knew it was you as soon as I saw you, but you wouldn't even look at me at the store. Even right now, a cute girl like this is making moves on you. I'm ashamed. I was going to give up today if you didn't remember me. So that's why you were so aggressive. 
You didn't remember me at all! I was so sad! And yet... You remembered in such a cruel way! You're gonna have to take responsibility! But wait, you're so close! I've never had intimate contact with a girl before! You had a lot of experience despite your cowardly advances today and yesterday. I would have been shocked. I'm letting you know, but I don't have any experience either. What? And my manager said that a number one girl eats three guys a day! Manager. I'll have to punish him the next time I see him. Tell me how you really feel, Toma. I'm ready for it! I, um, I, I thought I'd never have a chance of a girl in my life, so... But today when I was with you, I was so nervous. How can I say it? And? It was, uh, comfortable. It's like you know everything about me. Now, um, I, I want to get to know you more, so I want to be with you. Really? Toma? Yeah. That's what I think, but if I spend time with such a cute girl, I might explode. You're so indecisive. If you, like, dislike or love me, which is it? I like and love? Finally, finally! I won't let you go now! I'll make it so you can't see anyone else from today onwards. Be prepared, okay? It's been six months since Akane and I started living together. She quit her job as a cabaret girl and now works at a flower shop. You've come out of your shell! The client wants you to be in charge, Toma! Good work! You don't have to come pick me up every day. I want to. Lucky you getting engaged with Akina! Um, I already quit the store. Could you stop calling me by my pseudonym? Getting this gold attitude every day! I'm so jealous! <laughs> if you'll excuse me now. Oh, I'll just go home. Yeah, what do you want for dinner? She gives a cold attitude to every guy but me. The way she treats me when the two of us are alone is a secret that I keep to myself. <laughs>